Hey guys, I want to give you another quick video on Orange Lake updates. It is July 18th and 2021. I just want to go over a few things that's going on in the resort that uh, everybody's still asking questions about. The freestyle machines are still not up and running. They're still closed off because of COVID. Um, the towels are now in your bedroom for the pool. So you don't go down to the pool and grab a bunch of towels anymore. You have to take them from your room and you need to keep track of them because I'm sure they charge you for those if they're not in here when you leave. Um, they do still do the online check-in. There's a form that um, they want you to call when you get here to the yard gate. They hand you a thing, you gotta call and check in. I'll try to get a picture of that put up right here for you guys so you can take a screenshot of it. That way when you're about an hour hour and a half away from the resort if you're driving or if you're at the airport you can start the check-in process so when you get here you can walk right in instead of having to wait for a half hour 45 minutes on the resort which was nice we did that we checked in an hour ahead of time we got here we didn't have to wait at all walked right in got my room keys and off we went so that was super nice the River Island Grilling Company restaurant is now open again. I know that's been closed for a long time. So that's up and running. Uh, update on Medieval Times, if you guys head there and check that out. There is a, uh, the outside village is still closed off. So you, if you get there early thinking that you're gonna walk around and check out all the Medieval Times, uh, you know, horses and clothing and torture devices and all that stuff, if you've ever been there, that's still closed off. Can't check that out. So just plan ahead accordingly for that. Um, if you wanna get there early, you're gonna be inside the building unless you wanna walk around outside, but again, nothing is open. So uh, update for the theme parks. We went to Universal Studios, Volcano Bay, and Islands of Adventure. Um, if you get there early enough, the check-in line, you float right through. I'm sure if you get there right at park opening and you're not through security by then, the lines are crazy and it takes forever. But the exit ramp, when you get off, I know on my other videos, I was telling you guys this, there's two exit ramp lanes. You want the second lane from the right. The far right lane is not the right one, and everybody has to try and merge to the left, and it backs the traffic all the way up. If you're in that lane, you're going to be waiting for a long time. But if you get in the left lane, you'll skate right up the, through the exit ramp and float right into the uh, parking ticket booth. And another tip for that, stay to the right as you go in the ticket booth the lanes open up and there's more lanes to the right than you see originally and everybody seems to go to the left so if you stick to the right side and stay right you float right through the parking tickets as well and you can get right in the parking garage and hustle into security and get into the park as fast as possible but overall this week at orange lake we had a good time uh, again there's some things that aren't open still because of the covid situation Hopefully I went over some of those with you guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I'll, I'll respond as fast as I can. Um, I love this place. I've been coming here for 30 some years. I don't have any complaints about any of the minor stuff that a lot of people complain about that you see on the internet. But everything was great. We had a great time. Everybody was nice and helpful. The bartenders up at uh, Breezes were great. Angel's always a good time. The guy's hilarious. If you see him, tip him well. He does a good job. And he definitely makes your stay here more fun. Until next time.